Okay guys, so we're back live in Sumo, Ukraine and here we found someone who can answer our questions. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Turkey. Oh, cool, great. Okay, yeah. so and um, how do you think, uh, do you like to live in Ukraine? Yeah, it's good. It's good? I like to live in Ukraine. It's good, but Sumi is a small city. Mm -hmm. The main problem in Sumi, mm -hmm. I think it's small for small. students, yeah. Okay, so you came as a student? Yeah, I came as a student. Okay, and you're studying medical university? Yeah, yeah, I'm second course. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, so and um, how do you think, is it safe to live in Ukraine for foreigners? Yeah, I think it's safe. There are some problems in some cities, you know, mm -hmm. also, but in Sumer, it's okay, it's safe. I can say it's safe okay. for foreigners. Uh, and people are good. Okay, that's cool. So, and do you feel somehow is there war in Ukraine or it's... If you actually ask me, in uh -huh. Sumio and other states like in Kharkov, in Kiev, mm -hmm. I don't think there's something like this. And mm -hmm. I can say all people that you can come safely to Ukraine and you can enjoy. If you are good, you will face no problems. Okay. So it depends on the person. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you are bad in personality, you mm -hmm. will face some problems. But if you are good, there's no, there problems. no problems. Yeah. Okay. And there are some comments like that Ukrainian girls are the most beautiful girls in the world, you know. What do you think? Did you communicate with any of Ukrainian girls or is it easy to communicate with them? I have some friends, mm -hmm. but if you ask me like in every place in the world, it's mm -hmm. like the same. Mm -hmm. I can say nothing about this. It depends on you. If you are a good person, if you know how to communicate with people, mm -hmm. if you are not bad people, I don't know. It's okay. up to you. Okay, and just one more question. Just uh, how do you think we had a co topic previously, like about how expensive it is to live in Ukraine? Do you think it's expensive to live in Ukraine or cheap? Well, it depends on you. Like, I don't know how to explain this, but if your currency is good mm -hmm. against the Ukrainian currency, mm -hmm. if your currency is higher than the Ukrainian mm -hmm. hryvnias, mm -hmm. it's good to live. But if your currency is lower than hryvnias, mm -hmm. maybe it's a little bit hard to live. But if you ask me, it's cheap in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Well, no, some products are expensive, but alcohol and tobacco products is mostly cheaper than other countries because mm -hmm. of, I don't know, maybe tax politics in Ukraine. Uh -huh. Okay, and do you think we uh, Ukrainians drink a lot of alcohol? Yeah, in I don't know. In Ukraine, you can find some drunk people on the streets, but if you go to every place in the world, if you go to Turkey mm -hmm. or maybe some European countries, mm -hmm. I also went to Germany. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you go to Poland, mm -hmm. they also they have some people who's drunk on the streets. I think like in Europe, in all countries, it's the same. Mm -hmm. You can find some bad people, some good people. Okay. So okay. in Ukraine, it's okay. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. Can I get the YouTube channel? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, the second is Image Guarantee. It's actually uh, like a YouTube channel. Of so you will upload this live or yeah. not? Going live now. You will upload it? Yes. Okay. Um, I can. I can just touch. Not too. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ah, yeah, just a second. Yep, here it is. It's here. Yeah. It's yeah, right. a Just like a. <laughs> okay, great. So it's okay. a marriage agency that is making video about how to live in Ukraine mm -hmm. for foreigners who would like to come here. Okay. Okay. Nice Thank you. You. you too. Bye. Have a good day. Good bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. We uh, got some answers and we're going to the festival right now. Okay, uh, we got a quick start, so just uh, just for you not to forget. Uh, my name is Ivana <laughs> and I'm live video manager here in Match Guarantee. Uh, and we're live in Sumo, Ukraine. Uh, we have a question? Just yes. a second. Okay, the question is this live really yes it's live really <laughs> but you didn't answer my early questions sorry is the crime against foreigners mostly the foreigners being careless with their possessions uh -huh, like leaving belonging unattended or it's more serious um i've met earlier one guy uh he's from israel and he told me that if you are uh like if you are careful here uh you can 
uh, get actually no problems here and no crimes against you or something like that. Uh, this guy earlier said there is like a um, problem a little bit as I think with drunk people here in Ukraine and I think this is the reason for crimes but not for foreigners and if foreigners are uh, as you said okay to reread re re this question <laughs> good morning can you uh, just a second uh, but you didn't uh, ta -ta -ta. is the crime against foreigners mostly the foreigners being careless <laughs> probably yes I think with your possessions yes I, I think yes uh, good morning can you with it high and manicurist <laughs> the no, hot woman hang out thanks okay we'll think about it <laughs> and when is vita coming online we want vita we want vita <laughs> okay uh, uh, vita is going live uh, uh vita is supposed to go today but unfortunately she is sick so uh i hope she will be good till next uh weekends so probably on saturdays and just to remind you we're going live on wednesdays thursday and fridays uh, from 6 a.m. New York time till 7 a.m. New York time. On Saturdays and Sundays, we're going live from 8 a.m. New York time till 10 a.m. New York time. And after that, from 11 to 12, it's Ask Vita. On Saturdays and Sundays, 11 till 12 New York time, we'll be live Ask Vita. So you don't, uh, if you want to see Vita, please don't miss it. So press like on our video. Subscribe our channel and click on notification bell not to miss our videos and Vita's videos again. Sorry, she's really sick and uh, she said, by the way, she said sorry that she cannot stream. But that's something. Okay, let's go. Let's move. Forward. Okay, some people already are going from the festival. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's check it out. Mm. Okay. We have a question? I will agree with that. Have I have been to Ukraine once for only seven days only and that was my experience very safe but drunk people can be a problem yep definitely and actually drunk people can be a problem not only for foreigners so uh i think that for drunk people it doesn't matter uh <laughs> whom to just you know who will pick up problems so okay we had a green light there uh we uh, there is a little. No, most of them. Okay, we'll try to go across the street because there is, uh, there are some works there, but we will still try to go. Yep, we can go there. No problems. Cars cannot drive, but we can walk. And um, actually. For the last few months, there are a lot of works in Sumy about, you know, like renovating the city. So, to make it more uh, modern, uh, due to time, you know, more European uh, looking. Uh, there are a lot of, uh, there is a lot of stuff that it is doing right now. Okay, we need go there okay let's try we have a question just a second do you think when i come over in november can i just approach hot woman on the street etc and begin a conversation leading to ask them for a coffee etc then a date could you give us some advice on cold cold approach okay thanks um first of all <laughs> i don't think that it's easy even for uh native speakers and native, uh, like for Ukrainian men uh, it's not easy to just uh, pick up a woman on the street 
and to make a conversation secure. Uh, because as for me, I don't know even why it's a kind of you know un, un, a little bit inappropriate. I don't know how to explain it, but in Ukraine, women would prefer not to meet a guy from a street, uh, like or in a cafe. But maybe for foreigners, uh, I don't know. <laughs> if you, um, it's easier, much easier to make a communication nowadays online. So on streets, maybe you saw when we make in streams. Uh, there are a lot of girls like just star staring to their phones and they're chatting online like uh, they're uh, communicating with other people online but on um, in real life they prefer to meet only people whom they know like their friends or someone like that okay questions 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 is it possible to find out in first date if a lady is serious or just plain or out and wasting my time? And what are the best places to meet hot women during the day to evening, three night time? Okay, let's start from the first one. Is it uh, possible to find out if the woman is serious or plain up? Of course, it's pretty easy if you can just read some signs of her body or of her language. Uh, Vita is making some videos about this, like about relationships, about how to how to understand if the lady is serious or not. If she is serious, she would be really interested. She would be interested in conversation. She will show you, like, with some really body signs that she's interested. Just a second. So when she's sitting and just looking somewhere and answering like yes no no yes whatever it's not something that looks like she's interested in you but um if she's interested in relationships she'll be like that yep okay i'm listening could you tell me something i would like to know you better uh if she's interested in relationships you know there are a lot of sides signs when uh, for example a uh, woman is uh, Touching her hair, uh, like this or something like this, when she's trying to do something with her hair, when she's trying to touch her hand or something like that, that means that she's interested in relationships. Uh, okay, so um, about ah, okay, about where is the best place to uh, find a hot woman? I don't know how about hot woman, but okay if online then what apps are their best okay just a second there are a lot of questions okay just a, just just a second uh what are the best places to meet hot women during the day evening night time uh it depends if you need a hot woman for what <laughs> so in night time you can mostly need you can mostly find a woman in a, a club or a cafe or something like that but it won't be maybe a kind of woman for serious relationships uh, during the day uh, the uh, the best places as for me are parks and uh, cafes probably yes so there are places where they are just relaxing and they are not uh, they are not going somewhere quickly no when just they are sitting and that's all they are, they can be ready for communication for conversation or anything else in evening time they are mostly uh, like some central s streets of the city uh, where is a good lighting so they can walk there as well meet with their like girlfriends or something like that uh, and in the night, at night, uh, girl, girls are sitting home at night. In Ukraine, it's just a common thing. So, if you're a good girl, you are sitting home. Uh, you're not going anywhere. Okay. Uh, next questions. Oh my God, a lot of questions. What happened? Are you watching everything today? If online, what what apps are the best? In Ukraine, it's. Uh, 
the popular like a VK. Uh, I can maybe we I can show you Facebook, uh, VK, uh, Telegram, Viber. Okay, there is where is best high end place to rent an apartment or house for a month? Uh, you mean in what city or what part of the city or like please I'm very busy guys so when I plan a visit a few days that means I need to see results and I also need to know that the profiles have been verified intensely uh, guys if you're uh, busy and to come only for a few days and you want it to be uh, for something not just to waste your time again uh, we can help you with that we have our phone number is 206 801 1371 this is our Seattle phone number you can call there uh, 24 7 we can answer your questions we can uh, schedule a coaching call with you where we can explain uh, how and when and uh, like yes how and when you can meet some girls if you want to go with our services we have a lot of uh, options there as well so and on our website uh, magicguarantee.com that is spelled with y you can go and register your own um, coaching call as well so that would be uh, an hour of coaching like explaining you uh, what are our services where you can meet uh, it's a YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, some guys try to try to talk. That's um, I don't like that. Okay, anyway, so uh, you can meet ten ladies for free. You can uh, uh, have emailing with them. You can have a Skype call with them. So uh, due to that, you can see how we are working, and you can just check it out. And you can understand if it's gonna be worse like to come to Ukraine. Okay, let's go. We have some more questions. Okay. I would imagine more crimes to be linked with the corruption, yes? As in if foreigners pissed off local government officials, businessmen through ways of not play paying bribes in buying apartments um, actually there is th that is interesting topic but um, most of foreigners here are trying to uh, go like with our laws you know so uh, in the process of buying or renting apartment uh, there is no one you can give some money for so you can you are just paying money for apartment and uh, this is not a sphere for corruption you know uh, and for foreigners maybe if they are trying to create a business here uh, then yes it would be uh, even needed I think Let's go. Okay, just a second. We're on the road. Because uh, maybe Vita told you without money, it's the processes are slow and everything. But it's a duty business, you know. In the process of buying or renting an apartment, there is no such corruption as there. Okay, some more questions, guys. Um, can you write your contact number? What's up? Uh, yeah, I think um, maybe in comments we will write them. What if I join a high end gym, yoga studio, dance studio, etc., to meet high end beautiful woman in 22 35 age group? That is actually an option as well. So no problems what high and clubs etc do hi well you beautiful woman hang out i don't want to go to one of the clubs okay uh can you write your contact number yes we'll write it in comments what high encloses dress shoe shops 
do how well you beautiful women shop at our women they're open to different races from usa uh yes they are if not what types of different race on monday are they not interested in uh can i hire a boss and put banners on the side of saying single great <laughs> 38 year old man looking for a beautiful single woman offer an interview with Patrice and coffee okay you are so creepy <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, yes, you can rent a bus uh, with banners, and maybe it's gonna be a little bit strange, but it's definitely funny and that means that you have a sense of humor. <laughs> so maybe that will give you a chance as well. And about shops and places where uh, good women are going. Um, each and every place has its quality so uh, clubs cafes shops uh, they have their own quality and they have their own like you know level so it depends uh, from the level it depends what kind of women will go there uh, you can find uh, some maybe they will be a little bit expensive maybe like sport clubs or cafes but there at the same time there won't be any women like non-educated or non-beautiful women so uh, there will be women who have money just to take care about themselves to visit such places and that is also already something that is showing their level of course and oh my god there was again a question Whew, it's saturday today there are a lot of questions uh, about banners uh, yep, show me the questions. Okay, he's a madhouse. <laughs> yep. Uh, he's sweet. I hope that you're really having a great day. Thank you very much. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, are women they are open to different races from USA? If not, what types of different races and of men are they not interested in? Actually, on our previous interview, uh, we had some questions like, uh, maybe you saw some videos on our other channel, what girls want. Uh, there are some answers on the question, like, uh, we ask them, would you marry a foreign man? Would you marry, like, an uh, African-American who lives in Europe or America? Or would you marry an African-American who lives in Africa? Or would you marry like a rebel not muslim guy or would you marry a rebel muslim guy so and mostly uh girls saying that if they would marry a foreigner then it doesn't matter where he lives or what race he is or what nationality he is so but if she's saying from the early beginning that no i would prefer like to stay in ukraine to find ukrainian men then uh, she would answer no for all questions. Uh, okay, what is your website? Please write link. Our uh, website is match guarantee spelled with I dot com. We'll write a link and number in comments. Then, okay. <laughs> Seriously, be careful with those ideas. You will only attract gold diggers. If I hire advice, can I hire you to translate and help out? I would also hire a driver. When we park can we set up tables with flowers, especially coffee as for interviews. <laughs> okay, if you come to Sumy, yes, I can help you with translation. Maybe if you come to Kyiv, uh, and you can find a translator, no problems. Uh, so, <laughs> okay. Uh, you can hire anything like uh, trans like translator, uh, bus driver, bus with uh, flags, banners, or anything. So no problems with that. And we find a girl who can answer our questions. As you saw, there is a there was a painting house festival. Rastya, можете ответить на вопросы, да? Okay. Сейчас стоит. Just one second. Ага, английский нормально? Не, лучше на русском. А, ну там вопрос на английском, я тогда буду переводить и переводить ваш ответ. Окей? А, хорошо, тогда... Да. Окей, uh, okay. first question. What is love for you? 
Что для вас любовь? Ага. Сейчас. Не, я подумаю, подожди. And uh, there is just to remind you, there is a festival of dry paints. She is not ill. She is just in paint. That's that's okay. I'm not ill. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, так, стоп. Uh, не знаю. Ну, для меня самое важное, наверное. Любовь — это когда взаимопонимание есть. Mm -hmm. вот, когда люди понимают друг друга... А мне надо в камеру смотреть. Mm -hmm. <laughs> как... Можно куда угодно. <laughs> когда люди понимают друг друга, когда они друг друга готовы поддерживать. Mm -hmm. И вот когда это... Вот что-то... Это не только дружба, это дружба mm -hmm. как бы со страстью какой-то. Mm -hmm. и... Но больше всего это если друзья. Mm -hmm. Вот если два партнера, они как друзья, готовы друг друга все время быть... Ну, готовы быть вместе, тогда это... Okay, so let's try to translate. So, uh, love is first of all a mutual understanding when people are ready to support each other all the time. And the best option is where when they are friends, like friendship with a passion. So, uh, that's the best option and something else there was. Okay. Okay. Uh, when a Ukrainian man takes a girl out to a nice restaurant for dinner, does he often expect sex in return? Если мужчина приглашает девушку украинский мужчина приглашает девушку в ресторан, чи ожидая вин типа короче взамен секса? На самом деле. Я, я, ну, как-то есть мужчины, по которым это сразу видно, mm -hmm. которые только это ищут, но я предпочитаю с такими, ну, как бы, не знаю, как-то сразу это видно по общению, mm -hmm. что мужчина хочет, и да, я думаю, что такие есть, и таких большинство, которые приглашают девушку в ресторан, неважно, дарят подарки mm -hmm. или там что-то еще хотят с ними, но хотят это с какой-то определенной целью. Mm -hmm. Но это не значит, что как бы после секса они не хотят дальше развития отношений, но это mm -hmm. такой непроверенный вариант. Okay. Okay, so uh, there is uh, such kind of guys who are expecting that, but you can also always um, see that, you know? So you can always understand what is the type of the guy, and she prefer not to conduct with the type of the guy who expects sex in return. So, but uh, it even doesn't matter that after that he won't expect some relationships. So different ways, but this is the last option is un, un, uh, unprovided, unchecked. Okay. Можно дальше? А это просто. Нет, задержать в руках. Хорошо. Считается. Okay, let's go for a brunch. Okay. Um, uh, do you have any girlfriends that would marry a foreigner just to move out of Ukraine and have a better life in another country? Yes, you can be for the Какие могли бы типа выйти замуж за иностранца, чтобы чисто уехать из страны и жить лучше? Mm -hmm. Ну не знаю, насколько эта подруга как бы. Да, есть у меня такая подруга, которая уехала с этой целью, как мне кажется, теперь мальчику неудобно снимать. Э -э -э вот, э -э -э которая уехала с этой целью. Ему за платить. И на самом деле. Э -э ну, я не знаю, она поехала с этой целью или это действительно любовь, mm -hmm. но мне кажется, что большинство украинских девушек делают это с целью уезда, чтобы хорошо дальше жить. Mm -hmm. Ну, по крайней мере, такие истории я встречала. Mm -hmm. Это редко получается любовь из этого и больше какая-то выгода. Окей, so uh, she has a girlfriend like who? Окей, okay, я потом покажу. Uh, who just uh, uh, did it just to, to move out from the country she's not sure like if it's uh for love or she's a kind of gold digger but mostly like she uh went out of country just to leave the country and live the better life so and um most of uh most of women are trying to get out of the country uh thanks to foreigners okay Why do you think there are so many beautiful ladies in Ukraine? I don't know. Actually, all the foreigners, I think, are like... Yes. I think that it's really true. I've met Americans and... 
мне кажется, в славянской внешности, mm -hmm. именно там украинская, русская, есть какая-то вот собрание естественности mm -hmm. и красоты вот, вот именно естественной. Mm -hmm. И из-за этого вот как-то не нужно. Или выражение лица такое, или вот как-то mm -hmm. кожа может быть. Но это выглядит настолько естественно красиво, что не нужно вот эти все приукрашивания, которые привыкли, не знаю, но мне кажется, что привыкли другие девушки mm -hmm. из других стран. Окей, appearance of Slavic women, there is a kind of mix of uh, natural beauty that makes uh, unnecessary to make any like makeup or something like that and it makes us natural and beautiful, that's all. <laughs> okay, so and uh, we don't need those, you know, like stuff as makeup or something like that that other girls used to do. So, uh, let's continue. Как захочешь остановиться, кажи. Окей. Have you ever uh, had a date with a foreign man? Блоко ли быть свидание с иностранцем? Нет, свиданий никогда не было. Я когда-то встречалась, ну в смысле не встречалась в смысле отношений, а просто как бы общалась с иностранцами и нормально. Ну как-то это все выходило просто как дружеское общение. Никогда не было ничего больше. Okay, so uh, there was just communication, not dating, but communication and uh, nothing more. That's all. <laughs> Only French. Only French, yeah. Okay, uh, do you have... Oh, це уже було. Це уже те саме. Так. When you are dating Ukrainian man, does he give you gifts? What are normally the price of gifts? How long after starting dating does he give you gifts? <laughs> Якщо ви зустрічаєтесь з українським чоловіком, чи дарує він вам подарунки, яка приблизно ціна подарунків і як довго після початку зустрічань він дарує вам подарунки? Окей. Так, воспоминання. Я думаю, що так. Я думаю, що... Ну, парень как-то дарит подарки, таким образом он проявляет свое внимание, либо это свидание, либо это там какие-то букеты цветов, всякое такое. Вот, если, как долго, ну, какая цена, это на самом деле зависит от парня. Лично для меня это никогда не было принципиально важным, потому что я больше любила интересную подачу, чем какие-то, например, там, не знаю, дорогие, шикарные подарки. А вот то, как ты этот подарок преподашь, это очень интересно. А как продолжается, мне кажется, тут уже зависит от девушки по большей степени. Да? То есть, если держать какую-то марку, если продолжать себя позиционировать как девушку, которой стоит добиваться, что мужчинам, в принципе, это и нужно, то это будет продолжаться. И он в этом заинтересован, наверное, как бы. Окей, ты про меня вспомнил, что все это началось, чтобы перевести. Так, конечно, нужно подарить подарки. Of course, there is like a usual thing when you're giving gifts on dating with when you're dating with someone, but it doesn't really matter how expensive they are, but how interesting they are and how how interesting you can give them, like you know, the process of gifting itself, the presentation of the gift or something like that. And uh, about how long after starting dating uh, they are giving gifts, like it depends on the girl. Like if she's uh, making herself like a girl whom you need to uh, fight for, uh, they are trying to give more and more gifts. So that's all. Okay? Okay, тоді сейчас Ваня хай считает еще вопросы и плюс один до цього, окей? Плюс один, оси все и плюс один. Окей, окей, just почти минуточку. Окей, we have some comments. What's writing on her t-shirt? А, подожди секунду, что у тебя на футболке написано? On her t-shirt it's lucky, happy in love. Lucky, happy in love. Окей, you have just in time. Окей, comments. Just a second. Pretty the girl, love her smile, always in the... Okay, I will tell you right now. What are you daily with cool rates? Okay, just a second. Can you ask her to do as many press up as possible, please? If she can do more than 15, she can come on the bus. Да. Короче, я так понимаю... Press-ups — это типа отжимания, я так понимаю. Типа, можете спросить у нее, сколько она может раз отжаться, или просисти? 
типа, если она может присесть больше 15 раз, типа, то я приглашу ее в себе в путь. Короче, там у нее будет, типа, такие. Я согласна. Присесть я готова, отжаться не могу. Окей, окей. Сейчас, сейчас, секунду. У нас, вот это? Okay, uh, can you ask her if she or her hot single friends would date 75, uh, 75? I guess Melanie next head job who is unemployable. That's a strange question, very strange question. <laughs> okay. Other women open to date younger men, I mean women that are two years older. Yeah, that's okay, that's definitely okay. If you're like two, three years older, that doesn't matter. Привет. Uh, we can Да. Да. Его неудобно так снимать, но мы не по барабану. Так, для начала. Окей, first question. Мне длится. О, Господи, короче. Я задаю вопросы на английском, потом вам их перевожу. Если вы можете отвечать на английском, прекрасно. Можете? Окей, тогда вы отвечаете украинскую и российскую, и я типа перевожу их обратно. Окей, the first question is, what is love for you? Что для вас любовь? Один мой друг сказал, что любовь — это когда э, ты знаешь, что ты без человека не можешь и дня прожить. И если его не станет, тебе будет очень плохо. Вот это для меня любовь. Ну, все в поисках. Okay, so love is when you understand that you cannot live without person, and if uh, the person is gone, you will feel very, very bad. Любовь для меня, ну, это не только любовь до противоположного, mm -hmm. не противоположного стати, да. ага. а любовь до батьков, до друзей, mm -hmm. и даже до природы. Mm -hmm. Это теплые почувствия, друж... дружные почувствия. Mm -hmm. Ну, сложно это понести, как так. Окей, so love uh, here is not only love to just a man, but only love for uh, parents, to friends, to nature even. So uh, it's difficult to answer the questions, but it's some warm feelings and friendly feelings. Okay, тут есть, короче, типа вопросы, какие вы мне можете доставать, я вам буду их переводить. Все. Вопрос можно пропустить, если вам не нравится, можно вам давно количество вопросов отвечать. When in the Ukrainian man takes a girl out of nice restaurants for dinner, does he often expect sex in the return? Коли мужчина в Україні приглашає дівушку в хороший ресторан, чи ожидає він, ну, типа, як часто він ожидає, да, чи ожидає, як часто він ожидає, типа, сексу взамін? Я вважаю, якщо хлопець дійсно ставиться до дівчини добре і дійсно має до неї гарні почуття, то це не обов'язково має закінчуватися таким. Окей. So uh, if the guy has some feelings to the girl, it's not necessary to finish with that. Okay, держите вопросики про себе, потому что их потом считать надо. Ага. How much total family income is enough for a family of three to live in Sumy, Ukraine? А як скільки достатньо заробляти сім'ї з трьох людей, щоб жити в Україні в Сумах? В Сумах? Ага. Ну, є різні ситуації. Ну, мені здається, що не менше 12 тисяч – це точно, але вважаємо навіть більше, щоб зберігати всі. Ну, я зрозуміла. Ну, так. Окей. Тобто, не більше 12 тисяч гривень, і навіть більше буде комфортно. Окей? Далі? Ой, так. Ви маєте якусь дівчину, яка буде мати фірну, просто вирішити з України і мати краще життя в іншій країні? У вас є якісь подруги, які могли вийти заміж за іноземця, тільки щоб виїхати з України і жити краще в іншій країні? Ні, таких у мене немає, тому що всі у мене мають цінності, такі як любов, яка дійсно взаємна, і це не обов'язково має бути багата людина. Окей. So uh, your friends have has like strong values, so it doesn't matter what country or anything else like that, uh, but just the love and creating a family. So that's all. What is the normal age difference in Ukraine between husband and wife? Яка нормальна вікова різниця в Україні між чоловіком і дружиною? Мне кажется, что это зависит не от возраста, а от именно того, что ты чувствуешь человеку. Mm -hmm. Так что не имеет разницы, какая разница в возрасте, mm -hmm. за тавтологию. Mm -hmm. Я переведу Просто... вас. Просто главное, чтобы вы любили друг друга и все. Хорошо. Окей, okay, so it doesn't matter what is the age difference, if they understand each other, if they love each other, it really, really doesn't matter. 
У нас там есть какие-то вопросы? У нас просто типа цей стрим, типа, и там может задавать вопросы в комментариях. Секундочку. Just a second. Uh, I noticed many women wear crosses around this DX. How religious are most women? I hope they are not like religious not in the USA. Uh, там Мужчина пише, він замітив, що багато українських жінок носять типу, крестики на шиї. Він спрашивает, як, наскільки релігіозні вообще українські жінки і, ну да, наскільки релігіозні українські жінки. Ну, у нас жінки не настільки віруючі, але е, крестик це у нас означає, ну, що людина дійсно сповідує, що у неї єдина віра. В нашей стране не столько женщины соблюдают обряды, сколько просто верят, что существует какая-то сила, которая помогает людям. Окей. So, uh, the cross on the neck, Юра, ты снимаешь, не? <laughs> the cross on the neck is not really a symbol of very religious person, uh, but it's the symbol of the uh, person who, is, who believes in God. And uh, not just following some rules, Uh, but I said, not just observing the rules, but just believing in better. Just believes in something better. Okay, can you answer further? Can you? What do you think? Can you? Can you? Okay. Uh, Yura, there still are questions? Yes, there are. A second. Okay. Uh, how many press-ups they can do? Oh my god. <laughs> Nobody want to ride in your creepy bus <laughs> when they yell the blue paint. <laughs> Interesting question, very recalling question. Do girls accept atheists and will accept non Baptist uh, children until they are mature enough to make their own decision? Okay, тоже тоже по поводу религии задали вопрос, чьи, например, женщины, какие христиан, христиане, могли принять типа мужчину атеиста и например если у него есть дитина там в таком духе короче <laughs> вопрос mm -hmm. типа лично как вы ну христиане о, христианки yeah. 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 <laughs> а, вы могли бы встречаться или выйти замуж за атеиста uh, да если бы он не запрещал потом uh, ребенку исповедовать если mm -hmm. бы он хотел этого mm -hmm. Okay, so the answer from both of them is uh, they could uh, date or marry uh, atheist, but um, if he would not um, deny their child uh, to just to make it his own choice and to go for Christianity as well. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, would you like to live in Ukraine or to move to other country? Would you like to live in Ukraine or to move to other country? Well, considering the situation in Ukraine, I would like to move to other country. Because I would like to move to the economic situation, the social situation. I would like to move to other country. Okay, so due to social and economic situation in Ukraine, it would be better for her children to live in other countries, so she would prefer to uh, move out. And uh, would you prefer to marry Ukrainian man or a foreigner? Why? Я бы предпочли выйти замуж за украинца, чи за иноземца. Чему? Не все равно, какой нации будет человек. Просто лишь бы были чувства и взаимные. Okay. So it doesn't matter what nationality the person for, so uh, just depends on the feeling if they are mutual. And там был вопрос, что они в синей краске, если можно, я отвечу, потому что... I just wanted to remind that, that we are nearby the uh, Dry Paints Festival. Uh, so that's why everybody is in paint. Okay. Uh, okay, вопросы опять, just a second. Some questions. Uh, what a minute they have kids wait wait a minute they have kids no no oh thank you okay uh when it occurs you know 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 you 
how important is in Ukraine uh, culture for girls to get married before the age of 30? Uh, наскільки важлива в Україні культура для дівчат? Перед 30. Типа, я так вважаю, що просто типа чи Господи, який дурацький вопрос. Um, okay, давайте перефразируем. Uh, is it important for a girl to get married before the age of 30? Чи важно для дівчинки вийти замуж до 30 років? Ну, є такі дівчата, які чекають свою людину, і це не важливо, скільки років буде, 30, 40, 50, є й такі випадки. Mm-hmm. Ну, є такі, які хочуть вийти до 25 і наражати дітей mm-hmm. і, і все. Okay, so it depends on a girl. So uh, there are some girls who can wait till 30, till 40, till 50. Uh, but there are also guy, uh, girls who want to get married till 30, uh, sorry, 25 and get children and that's all. And the question, if you love a man from another country, would you move with him to his country? What would be your biggest three fears about marrying him and moving to his country? Якби ви полюбили людину з іншої країни, ви б могли переїхати в цю країну? Які ваші три найбільших страхи з приводу переїзду в іншу країну? Якщо б я полюбила чоловіка іностранця, я б переїхала в іншу країну, якщо була така необхідність. Але які три страхи, навіть не знаю. Наверно, це залежить від обстановки, яка знаходиться в цій країні. І все. Okay, so uh, if she would love this person, she would have no fear just to move there. But maybe uh, the main fear is uh, if you're something unknown. That's all. Okay, так, вопрос в коментах. Just a second. Let me read it. Uh, this is like they are 16, 17, a little too young for me, way too young. No, they uh they are not such such young. Uh, so, uh, just a funny Ukrainian girl that believes in their religion, like you, that goes to church, don't settle for anything less than that. So, Maria, no one wants to ride with you unless they are a man. Okay, це не вопроси, це просто вони там собі переписуються, короче. Так, і ще? Скоро вопроси закінчаться. Why do you think there are so many beautiful ladies in Ukraine? Як ви думаєте, чому так багато красивих жінок в Україні? Ну, тому що українки це найгарніші дівчата в світі. <laughs> Because Ukrainians are the most beautiful ladies in Ukraine. <laughs> І тут, uh, why do you think there are so many couples in Ukraine that do not marry, just live together for many years? Як ви думаєте, чому так багато пар в Україні, які не одружуються, а просто живуть разом багато, по багато років? Ну, uh, тут психологічні якісь условия. Uh, очень часто по статистике пари разводятся именно после того, как женятся, потому что считают, что какой-то груз на них падает. У них тяжело это. Okay, so statistically there are a lot of couples who are getting divorced after marriage because uh, they think they got a little like package they cannot solve or something like that. So uh, that is the reason just to leave each other, just less responsibility and that's all. Все, дівчата. Окей, Гір. So uh, we will have a little break right now and we will get back to you in 10 minutes. So stay tuned and have a good day. Bye-bye.